morning, everyone. This is Lolly. I am back to talk today about um, working on another tumbler. So I just did this one, my Lolly Llama tumbler, and I will give you both the links down below to the videos. It was a two-parter. Um, one was talking about the printable vinyl, and the other one was applying the epoxy. My daughter wants one, Michelle, and she wanted hers to be kind of this uh, gradated, I got some splatters here, um, version here, and she wants, and she wanted it to be the turquoise going up to the white, and I used the same paint, the Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. This is a semi-gloss white and a gloss seaside. It doesn't really matter since they're going to get coated with the resin anyway. She wanted the white at top and the seaside here. So when I put it in my box, I went around and I sprayed the white and I let it dry, I think about half an hour. And then I went around and I did this turquoise color and I gave, I think this is three coats every half hour. When I was all done, I went back and I touched up the white. So here's what we have. Now I'm using the printable vinyl again, and I this is the image that she wanted. I just took her to the Silhouette Design Studio, and I had her look at all of the mermaid images, and she chose this one. And this is a design by Sarah Bailey, design ID 127238. So I did two, and it does, it's not assembled when you get it. So, you know, I had to take each individual part, color them, and assemble it to make a print and cut. So I did two of those. I have some Hello Kitty images, and I just, because I, if, with this printable vinyl, I want to just use it and cut it once instead of cutting an image, and then I won't be able to print any more on it. So I'm going to get full use of this. I have, as you can see by the shine, I have applied the laminate which is the UV protection. So you don't want your colors to fade and this helps it. So I'm gonna run this through the Cameo. Uh, I did my last one at Blade 6, Speed 8, Force 16 and Passes 2. And what I found was it, it went a little too deeply into the backing paper. It was kinda of hard to peel off so I think I'm gonna back it off just a little bit, like maybe a, a little bit less force and see what happens. Okay. And so I have this done, but I see I lowered the uh, forest to 14. It is still too much, and I'll show you what I mean. Look, it cut all the way through again. So my next time around, I am going to completely change the blade, the blade itself, so it's not quite so thick, you know, the blade. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it shouldn't be cutting all the way through like this. Now this one, the back came completely off, so I'm just going to go ahead and peel it and use this one because the backing, as you can see, is already stuck there. And it did occur to me that I didn't ask her, I mean, she picked out a font, but I didn't ask her um, what color she wanted that. I'm not going to put this too low, I think right about there. I'm going right up the middle and then I'm going to move it to the side like this. Now this um, this Oracle printable vinyl said it cures completely in three days, and I don't know if I really need to wait in order to do the um, the epoxy resin over it. But to me, I feel like that's a wise choice. So I did. I waited three days for this one before I resined it. So it'd be fully cured before sealing it. And so that's it. And she didn't want any words here. It's why I raised the mermaid up a little bit. I love that it looks like she's in water. Um, so her name will go here and she's chosen a font. I will have to talk to her about what color of um, vinyl she wants for her name and I will return. Okay, we determined that the white would work and that's what she preferred. So she picked her font and I can't see what font it is because I altered it so I can't share what font this is.
There we go. Very pretty. Now I want to get this. Oh yeah, it looks really good. Okay, so we are going to save this and reuse that. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to let this set for three days and I will do the epoxy. Again, she did not want any glitter on hers. Okay, this has been curing and then I think I touched it several times. So what I did was I took dish soap and washed the tumbler really well with dish soap, rinsed it really well and dried it and let it air dry. So now I have mixed up my amazing clear cast resin and I let it set for a few minutes to, to um, cut down on the amount of bubbles that were in here. I've got this secured. I made sure that the arm was firmly screwed in. And we are done. She loves it. So it's a little wet. I just washed it <laughs> with dish soap. So anyway, I was just too thrilled to be able to share with you how cute this turned out. Really happy with it. And she's really excited. So I have decided to do this um, to start on the mugs or excuse me, the tumblers that don't have my name on them. I'm going to put something on the bottom to show that I had made them. So Anyway, and we have our reusable straw, and she is good to go. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you look at the links down below for the supplies.